I'm invisible because you don't know I'm gay and ha if I happen to meet you on the street, I would have to come out all over again in conversation as I've done many, many times before. My dad calls and he's like, I don't know what you told your mother, but she's freaking out. What did you do? Are you pregnant? And I'm like, good God, like, I'm not pregnant, you know? A girl cannot get me pregnant, so I'm obviously not pregnant. And there was just silence. So while I was in the military, I purposely made myself invisible and that was very difficult. And then when I got out of the military, yes, I felt free, but I was still invisible because of the way I looked. People didn't believe me when I said that I was gay. You know, because we both look feminine, people just assume we're straight anyway, and then when, even up until we had decided to have Sabra, we just kind of let people think that we were just friends because it was too much of a pain to kind of explain it to them. So we would just say, oh yeah, whatever. We wouldn't correct them, we would just let it go. And when we chose to have Sabra, I was like, this is it. We've got to be able to tell everybody and just take what they're going to say. I mean, I don't walk into a room and say, hi, I'm Selena, I'm a lesbian and I was bullied. But I feel like if I'm coming into a queer space, I think that there should be an assumption made that everybody in that space has kind of gone through something negative. Um, hence why we're all coming together to kind of make change. You know, I think that, you know, a lot of us would like to swish more, you know, who would like to dance more, who would like to dangle more, that don't because we're suppressing our natural self-expression because it is diminished.